previous video, you have extracted titles and addresses from a Craigslist job list page. However, you extracted those pieces of information separately, which can cause mismatches if the address is missing from the job, for example. Instead, you should rather extract all the details of a job at once. As you can see here, each job is in higher level paragraph tag, whose class name is Result Info. It is called a wrapper, containing all the pieces of information about a job. So what you should do is to extract all the P tags with the class Result Info, and then loop on them to extract data from the secondary tags. Let's write it in code. Jobs equals soup dot find all p class result info and then for job in jobs then extract each job detail title equals job dot find a class result title dot text location equals job dot find span class, result hood, dot text, and so on. As you see, you have to use the find, not find all, because you only need the first occurrence of the tag. And to extract the text from the A tag, use dot text at the end. However, if one tag is missing, you will get an error message when you run the code none type object has no attribute text, so you have to add an if statement. You can update your code to be location tag equals job dot find span class result hood location equals location tag dot text if location tag else na. This means if a location tag is found, extract the text, otherwise just add the text na. As the location is between brackets, you can use slicing from 1 to minus 1 to remove the brackets and also strip to remove the extra spaces, or just slice from 2 to minus 1. Extract the date in the same way, but be careful that its tag is called time. Finally, print all the job details you extracted in the way you prefer. Let's run the code to see the output. As you can see, each job is printed with its details, title, location, date, and link. Now replay the video, write the code line by line yourself, and run it on your machine. Let me know if you have any questions. You can download the code under the References section.